raw probiotics. Does that say 400 billion? S guaranteed for what? <laughs> Yo, we're not playing around. <laughs> you see these little tablets that says 1 billion, and you think that, okay, a billion is a lot, but nah. 400 billion. Okay, this this is the largest dosage I've seen of probiotics on the market and it's it's really strong. It might actually be too strong. I have a story to tell you um about that uh, as I get past this introduction, but basically so probiotics if you're you don't really know what they are, they're bacteria it's bacteria that lives inside your your gut your small intestine specifically and fun fact did you know and don't quote me on this uh numbers and stuff but i don't know let's just say hypothetically we have like uh a hundred trillion cells well we have more bacteria than we do cells in our body so basically the majority of what we are as animals as humans uh biologically is mostly bacteria that's kind of crazy to think about and there is uh a delicate ecosystem of bacteria inside our bodies uh most of it i guess lives in the gut I'm not really sure how that works out but the fact of the matter is you want to have a good ratio of the beneficial bacteria and to try to minimize the bad bacteria because they are constantly at war with each other. And bacteria, I learned this the other day, it's like the, the bacteria actually kind of creates the vitamins, I think, if, um, if I understood correctly. So in other words, whatever food you're eating that is supposed to produce vitamin A. It's not necessarily that there's vitamin A inside that food, but it's the chemical reaction that uh, occurs within how the bacteria consumes the food that produces the vitamin as a byproduct. So if you don't have the type of bacteria that produces a particular vitamin, you're going to be deficient in that vitamin. I thought that was like, that's key. That's really important to understand that it's not just that you ingest these vitamins or you eat the food that is supposed to be nutritious. It's the reason why the food is nutritious in the first place is because of the way that the body breaks the food down and the vitamins are a byproduct of that transformation. So <laughs> making sure that you have good bacteria to make sure that process occurs inside your body is very important. If you have any kind of issues with your stool, whether uh, you're constipated or you, you're a little bit too frequent, the way to fix it is to, to try this stuff, okay? That and Formula 2. Formula 2 kind of sucks out everything, and then this is to replace it uh, with all the good things that you need. Now, 400 billion, there's... Let me kind of break this down with what's going on here. There's... I'm not sure how many strains there are. But here's all the stuff. This is fascinating. Lactobacilli, all this stuff. So, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, um, going back to, like, why I'm so blown away of the 400 billion is because you'll see other... And this is kind of expensive stuff. I got this at Whole Foods. Garden of Life is an amazing brand. There are lots of different, uh, I guess, packages of the probiotics. And you'll see that there's like 1 billion, uh, 5 billion, 10 billion. And, and people think that because it's a billion that you're getting a lot. And, and I guess in comparison to how many cells we have and how much bacteria is in our body, it's really just a spit in the bucket. So if you want anything meaningful or any kind of change that, that's noticeable to take place inside your body, you're going to have to go strong. That's my opinion. 400 billion is pretty hardy, okay? Um, it comes in a scooper. I, I actually finished. There's nothing else in here, but otherwise I'd show you, but it's just powder. And it comes in a scooper that you can either just 
down the hatch. It actually tastes pretty good all by itself. Uh, that's how I prefer to do it because sometimes if you put it in water, then it sticks to the side and I want to make sure that I get 100% of, you know, what is in the scooper. So if you take a full scoop, you're going to get 400 billion. This should be refrigerated also, by the way. The refrigeration keeps it alive. I guess in theory, if it was in too hot of a climate, it would like the live because this stuff is alive. So they say if it's too hot, then it's going to die and it's just going to taste. Well, you, you probably won't be able to tell the difference, honestly, um, but it, it should be refrigerated. And that's why when you're looking for it in the store, don't try to look for it in the aisle. Try to look for one of those little uh, refrigerators because that's where this stuff uh, is, is stored. Now, the story is that maybe you don't want to take all 400 billion at once. You might not want to take the entire scoop at once. When I was taking this, um, something was going on with my ear. I think it actually kind of triggered an ear infection, oddly enough. So whatever bacteria is floating around inside your ear canals, um, it did kind of throw it out of whack. And I backed off the dosage because I knew instantly, um, you know, just trying to be mindful of your body and, and the supplements that you're taking and the food and notice any kind of differences. Hopefully you don't change too many things at once because then you won't know exactly what the, uh, the culprit is if you start to feel a little bit out of whack. But I knew instantly that the ear infection was triggered by me having this. Okay, so... Um, there's also packets of 200 billion that I, I personally feel that the 200 billion a day probiotic is the best way to go. That's most well tolerated for me. Uh, very effective, especially if you do it back to back. I think the packets, the 200 billion packets, you do it like seven days in a row. It's pretty important to do it consistently. Like you don't want to just do it one day and then stop and then come back to it a month later and do another day. Like you want to do seven days in a row. Uh, I think that's most effective because it, they kind of build on top of each other. So yeah, 200 billion is probably enough depending on how big you are or how small you are. You might want to gauge it off of that. And maybe that was just something that I was going through at that moment. I think I, it's not like I'm scared to do 400 billion. If I got the bottle again, and I would probably go for the, the 400 billion and, and see what happens. <laughs> because as soon as I stopped taking it, the, the ear infection or the earache went away. So it was, in fact, linked to be that. And I think it's really interesting because uh, one of the side benefits uh, is definitely an improved immune system and also increased energy. And it's not like the kind of energy that you get from like B12 supplement or from caffeine. It's just like a good, hearty, healthy, like you feel like you're getting, you, you feel well nourished and strong. Uh, so probiotics, definitely probably like the unsung hero. Um, all immunity, really like the majority of the immunity inside your body lives inside the small intestines. So you want to make sure that the small intestines are happy. And this, this is the way. So definitely super important, probably uh, not really well widely known about its uh, connection to health and immunity. Uh, more people should know about this. So if you found the video and stumbled upon this and you're doing your research, um, I hope that made sense and that you learned something. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to see you again. And uh, yeah, feel free to browse around. I got a lot of different other videos about uh, vitamins and uh, actually a lot of different stuff. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.